Yo, my beautiful people, it's your boy again, Shady Shady Einziga. Today, guys, we are back again. Today, we're going to check out the worst things about Germany. So, without saying too much, we're going to jump on this right away. Let's see what can the worst things about Germany be. Let's do this. The worst and the bad. I think you already know what this video is going to be about. I don't know what exactly convinced me to visit Germany, but I sure know what didn't convince me. Okay. Their travel tourism slogan. Germany, the travel destination. Uh, is Germany the only country that didn't get the memo? <laughs> Vietnam, timeless charm. Norway. I'm powered by nature. Maldives, the sunny side of life. Yeah, Germany is the only country that didn't get it. It's a trap. <laughs> this is good. Travel destination. But maybe I'm wrong, and this is how marketing and catchphrases work in Germany. Volkswagen, das Auto. All right. <laughs> Efficiency, bro. No, no need to waste time. Just go straight to the point, okay? Don't be trying to go. I like you, I like you. Let's go to my house. Yes, let's go. Finish. <laughs> I think I'm getting the gist of it. I think I know how marketing in Germany works now. Big Mac, the burger. <laughs> iPhone XR, the cell phone. <laughs> IKEA, no the furniture no store. Anyway, after seeing these entertaining ads, I expected to meet really entertaining people. Uh, hello, my name is Hans. I go to bed at 7 p.m. I like sparkling water and botanical documentaries, and I should probably keep this to myself, but sometimes I come late to meetings. Bad boys, bad boys. Germans but coming to the capital of Berlin took me by surprise. It's very Germans going late. Germans late for anything? Nah, no, bro. It's the wrong Germans. What you gonna do? But coming to the capital of Berlin took me by surprise. It's very liberal and a bit quirky there. And instead of these dull, boring Germans, I came across some really cool people. Sometimes probably too cool for me. I only do ecstasy when the right techno song comes up. Huh? What did I tell you? Auf Wiedersehen! Bye. When someone talks about the worst sounds in the world, I think of snoring, train scraping the tracks, the cries of thousands of dying babies. Don't say Schlager, please. Peace. And the German language. It reminds me of... Yeah, them stimme ich zu. I would never be able to learn a language with so many words that sound like demonic incantations. Versicherungsgesellschaften. The problem is. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. The way he said it, it sounds, sounds like incantations. It sounds like incantations. But you know, surprisingly, yeah, the reason why I have this channel dedicated to Germany is because of how much I love the language. And the German language was the reason why I got interested in checking out about Germany. Your language, for me, I don't know. I told people I, I like German language and they're shocked. I really don't know. I just like it. It just sounds interesting. Ich liebe dich. Ich bin schön. Ich komme aus East London. My name is Spieler ist Fußball. That in Germany, instead of using five words to describe five things, as everywhere else in the world, you use one word to describe infinite number of things. This has to complicate so many aspects of life. Jonathan here, only three questions away from one million dollars. He's got the last phone and friend lifeline, he's in beautiful shape. Here it comes, question for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, Jonathan. How do you call the narcotics prescription regulation in German? Pneumono ultramicroscopic silicovulcanoconiosis? Rechtsschutzversicherungsgesellschaften? Rindfleischetikettierungsüberwachungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz? Betäubungsmittelverschreibungsverordnung? Okay. I took German classes in high school. <laughs> 
seems to ring a bell. Rindfleisch etikettieren zu Überwachungsaufgaben Übertragungsgesetz. I think I've heard that somewhere, but I have no idea if that's the prescription regulation. I'm gonna use the lifeline. I'm B. gonna call my friend David. Yeah, David, B. what is David doing? Luckily, he's a teacher in the German Institute of Washington. He was born in Germany, so... <laughs> oh, lucky you! Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get David on the line and see if he can help. Hello? Hello, David! Yeah? Hi, Regis Philbin here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hi. We got your friend Jonathan with us right now. He's doing pretty well. Good. <laughs> He's going for a quarter million dollars. Wow. He said you work as a teacher in a German institute. That's right. They call me the German teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. All right, David. Jonathan's going to come on the line, read a question, four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. You got 30 seconds that start right now. Hi, Dave. Hi, Johnny. So, how do you call narcotics prescription regulation in German? A. Pneumono ultramicroscopic silico coniosis. B. Rechtsschutzversicherungsgesellschaften. C. Rindfleisch Etikettierungsüberwachungsaufgabenübertragungsgesetz. Or D. Betäubungsmittelverschreibungsverordnung. Oh, what a shame. While in Germany, I attended the Cologne Carnival, one of the biggest carnivals in the world, and also... Oh, man, man read it. As soon as he read it to the end, that was it. No time for the answer. <laughs> he lost it. My bro. Nah. Schreibungsverordnung. Oh, what a shame. While in Germany, I attended the Cologne Carnival, one of the biggest carnivals in the world, and also an event where polite and respectful Germans dress in crazy costumes, drink from morning, and can finally free themselves. I went as a prisoner, but didn't realize two things. That the number 88 is a Nazi symbol, and that some people were way too drunk to be friendly. Ha! You think you're being funny, asshole? Sorry, man. You think we don't realize we've done wrong in is the it? past? I didn't Take off the fucking offend. costume or I'll break your jaw! I mean it! They call me the angry guy for a reason! Man. You don't wanna mess with me, you racist prick! Luckily, another random guy stepped up and saved the day with a really heartwarming speech that touched- Hold on, so that 88, is it really so? Wow, okay. That's interesting. So, 88. Hmm, okay, I just remember that. Yeah, never mess with the 88 when you go to Germany. He's the angry guy for a reason. Man. You don't wanna mess with me, you racist prick. Luckily, another random guy stepped up and saved the day with a really heartwarming speech that touched everyone standing nearby. Still, it was quite a bizarre moment. I don't know why. Hey, 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 stop arguing. This is an event where <laughs> we celebrate knows. and drink together without disputes. I'm sure this guy didn't mean to offend our nation, and it's just a stupid coincidence. So shake hands, <laughs> raise your glasses, and celebrate unity, friendship, and freedom. Understood? My stay in Germany was a pleasant one. I enjoyed it very much, and I just like to say... <laughs> and bitte vergesst nicht meinen Kanal zu abonnieren. No, no. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I mean that prick knows. <sighs> yeah, that one, that one, that one, that one caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that at all. But yeah, like what he said about the German language though. I know I like the German language, but still, like it did actually sound like an incantation. Yeah, it's got that incantation that that sound. Yeah, it got that sound. And the 88, I'm going to remember, yeah, not to rock anything with those numbers on. Yeah, because it's not very nice. Okay. Thank you very much for, for, for this. I do appreciate it. Surprisingly, he didn't talk about the, the food in Germany. Like, surprisingly, I was expecting someone to say something about the food. Maybe talk about the, the beer, talk about the wurst, talk about the curry wurst as well. You know, something that I've heard a lot of times. But he talked about the language, which is a very massive stereotype. Anyway, I've been to Berlin and I will say what he said about Berlin is true. Like, I've been in Berlin, I went around, I have to go back twice, okay? It's kind of similar to London, but it's a bit looser. It's kind of, no, not looser. It's a bit uh, more extreme on the techno side, yeah, compared to London. But still, I like Germany, your food, I love it, your language, 
beautiful but <laughs> hard to learn even though it's similar to english anyways me boy guys i'm gonna catch your next video i love you it's slipperish of it is in Love more than words can say, you are me. Oh, you are the light that shines in my way, you are me. Oh, I love you more than words can say, you are me. Oh, you are the light that shines in my way.